Hey girl, happy Thursday. Let me know in the comment section how your week is going. Listen, I know this is chaos central in my house lately. This week has been a lot and I cannot wait for Friday. And I know you guys are all gonna agree that adulting is hard, but we have to pull it together. So to get out of my funk, I slapped some makeup on the face and I'm gonna reveal my BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box for the month of December. Now, I have not received it quite yet, but you guys already know I like to share what my options, my selections, if I did any add-ons, that kind of thing, and give you like real first impressions. Plus, we are going to talk about the elephant in the room. I know you guys are wondering if I'm gonna stay quiet, if I'm gonna talk about it, I know. The price went up or is going up. I haven't even checked my statement yet. So we're gonna get into it, okay? Don't worry about it. Your girl's not shy. I know Ipsy sends me PR, but I'm always honest. As per usual, Ipsy will choose two power picks for my box. I have not upgraded the box or like boosted the box to where I'll get an additional item for 15 bucks. I skipped on that the entire time. I was like, you know what? I get good product anyway. I'm not gonna get greedy and pay $15 for something that maybe I won't end up wanting. So I, I've stuck to like the basic. My power picks that Ipsy has chosen are going to be the Ciate London Vitamin Boost Plumping Barrier Boost skin primer I'm always open to trying new primers even though I don't use them consistently like right about now I I'm lying I do have a primer on I was gonna say I don't have a primer on I do I have the benefit primer but 90% of the time you guys know I don't use primers on a day-to-day -day basis and if I am using them I'm gonna only use the ones that I like so I'm curious about the Ciate London one I've tried a lot of Ciate London products so the fact that I get to try a primer and it says vitamin boost plumping yes I'll give it a try so I wasn't upset about that I was actually pretty okay with it. I wasn't jumping for joy though. Like I feel like my power, okay, you're gonna see the next item and then I'll say what I was gonna say because I always jump the bandwagon. Hold on. Then number two is going to be the JLo That Fresh Take Eye Cream. I own it. I have to own, I believe I own this already because I got PR from JLo Beauty a few times. Not the point. Do I need an eye cream? Yes. But I feel like I would have preferred an actual makeup item as a power pick. Like it was like an eye cream, which thank you, I will actually try it if I don't already have it open or I'll set it to the side and I'll like stash it for later. But then another primer, okay, I'll try that. That's why I wasn't like jumping for joy because I was like, oh, okay, so there's no pigmented product here as a power pick. And maybe I just got greedy because I've gotten used to getting an eyeshadow palette or like a lippy or something like that. So I was like, okay. I don't even know how much they charged me for this box. So we're gonna um, kind of go through these first impressions. I just made my selections. I was busy. Then we move on to my options for choice. I got to see six options for choice number one. They have the NARS Air Matte Lip Color in Lose Control. I have that. The formula is amazing. So if you are going to receive that in your box, it was chosen for you. You chose it. The point is get excited. I freaking love that formula. It is pretty long wear, super comfortable. It feels like a cloud on your lips. It doesn't move around. It doesn't like slide and you forget you even have it on because it feels so darn good. Then the Persona Cosmetics Eyeliner Duo in brown and plum. I have it in black and it is a beautiful formula. Super buttery, super like glides like a gel. It's just so soft. Then the K Voss NYC Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight, Calare Come Hell or High Water Mascara, the Pure Lee Scale and Vitamin Exfoliating Face Wash, and then a three piece face brush set by Ace Beauty. I went with Persona Cosmetics. It's two shades that I don't currently have brown and plum. I have the black and I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. It's been one of my go-tos. So why not get two more? Moving on to choice number two, I had the Elmar Cosmetics Mommy Brow Styler in Espresso. Ciate London Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye. I think it's like a balm cream concealer, under eye concealer. Kind of like a color corrector. Dermalect Flawless Bakukyu. Cool. Treatment, Nip and Fab Retinol Fix Blemish Treatment Gel, 10%. TYS Beauty Funnel Treat and Clear Hyaluronic Acid, it's like a setting spray. The Selfless by H Hiram. I always say Hiram. 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 That's, that, he's like a TikToker guy, right? Mandelic Acid and Rice Brand Gentle Exfoliant. That, that man right there, okay? Hiram knows his stuff. 
I'm not shocked that he came out with a, a line. I have the Dermalect. I would have gotten this, but I have it. I'm giving it a try. I've been using it consistently. Avamar in Espresso. I'm not even sure if Espresso is going to work for me. And lately, I really haven't been filling it in too much, like the brows, because it's been unnecessary. The other items weren't super exciting or intriguing, so I went with the Ciate London the under eye brightening product because I want to try it. What I wonder if I go like this, do you guys see this? Personally, most people don't care. I see that and I'm like, why does it look puffy? And I will do under eye treatments and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to do the extra brightening, like deep puff and then extra brightening. I just wanted to try that. Mm. So in terms of choice options for my box, this was actually pretty unique. The under eye color correcting thing. Number three, I had the half caked double dipper that sounds like something you would get as an appetizer, like chilies or something, right? Double Dipper Matte Bronzer in Miami Beach. Pear Nova Eye Duo Stick Eyeliner in Amethyst. Girl, I have this one and I haven't actually used it yet. And I re I remember seeing this and going, mm, mm -mm. I have to actually play around with this. Why would I get another one? The Lucky Chick Lip Scrub, which I forwarded to someone. So I wouldn't select that. MOTD Cosmetics Eye Brush Set. I'm sticking with my BK Beauty brushes, so I didn't want to get that and then not open it. The Apricot Cleansing Oil by Dirty Lamb. Oh, that is a cool name. And then the Elman Beauty Dual Ended Liquid Lipstick and Lip Gloss. At the beginning of this video, I complained because my Power Picks didn't have pigment, right? So you would think I would probably go with something like Pear Nova, which I already told you what happened with that, or the Half Caked. But the Elman Beauty Lippy that I got, what? already like in another box was so freaking good and this one just so happens to be a different shade so I was like okay I'm going with Elman Beauty I really liked it I mean that says a lot I told you guys in the video that I liked the Elman Beauty lip duo but the fact that I selected another one in a different shade for my box and it was a choice says a lot I really really liked it so basically my box contains a primer an eye cream eyeliners under eye brightening product and a lippy and I was like, okay, like that's a really nice variation in terms of like the box, but you guys know me, I need some sort of eyeshadow. So I went over to add-ons, $12 products. They had the Tarte Man Eater Waterproof Mascara, and that mascara is actually really, really good. I like the original one though. I didn't snag it only because it's waterproof. In my experience, I've had such a hard time removing waterproof off of my eyes that I'm just like, I'll wait till I see the regular, although now I'm probably, I'm probably gonna go check Ipsy and see if they still have it. And I wanna punch myself in the nose because I should've, I should've gotten it as an add-on. Who cares if it's a freaking waterproof? That one is one of my favorites from Tarte. Then they had the Dinesa Myrix Infinite Chrome Pencil. I already have, I think it was the Lilac. I just kinda scrolled through this, I'ma be honest, because the holidays are here and I'm trying to be good and I've been good. I was specifically going <laughs> to add-ons for eyeshadow. I didn't want to do this whole shopping spree, so I kind of like browsed through it until like, I was like, oh, oh, where's the, where, where is an eyeshadow palette? There were several things that were actually really nice. They had Danessa Myricks, the Byro, Ola Hendricks, Kat Berkey, Murad. Then I went over to the $3.50 Deluxe Mini products, which that's my safe zone there because I don't care if I get eight things, it's only $3.50. I ended up scrolling on there. Do, 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 do. By the way, they had this one for $3.50 and although the full size is amazing, I wouldn't pay $3.50 for this teeny tiny thing. I'm just saying. Then again, they also had great product for $3.50. Look, a lip liner in blush by ABH, $3.50 and Based on the photo, it's full size. They had ABH brow whizzes, but the deluxes, I would pay $3.50 for those. And then we got to more ABH product, the Lash Sculpt Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. Do you remember this mascara? Do you remember my review on it? I'm freaking obsessed and I was going to get the full size, but something has, you know, I'm always so busy. I know you guys are too. It's like every time you're like, I'm going to do something for me, you completely forget. So when I scrolled down and I saw that they had this baby for $3.50, centavos, I got two instantly. I said, you know what? Mm, mm. Screw the full size. I'll get two deluxes and they'll last me forever. So I had to snag that for sure. Then I move forward to the $12 full size product and that's where we're really seeing the pigment. Then I see the Rem Beauty 
eyeshadow palettes that some influencers got, but I didn't get it in my box. So out of the two color stories, I ended up going with the one that has the darker tones because one was more on the neutral side. The other one allows me to smoke the eye out a little bit. So I'm really excited. I hope they don't mess this up. This would be my very first Rem Beauty eyeshadow. I've tried their lippies before. I think it was like a lip gloss. So I'm, I, I'm actually really excited to give that baby a try. I hope it all works out. You keep going down. They had Josie Marin. Uh, they had, they definitely had a few products that if I didn't have as much makeup as I already have, I probably would have dove in and snagged another. So in the end, I checked out with two mascaras and the Rem Beauty eyeshadow palette. And girl, I only spent $20 and 14 cents and that's with taxes and the extra fee that they do. So hooray for me because I controlled myself. Otherwise, I would have spent $60, $70 because I tend to do that. Now let's talk about the price increase. Ugh, they charged me. I, I didn't even know, um, I didn't even know that an email went out because the email set up for that account, it's like that junk email, you know, where you put it for everything that you don't want to be bothered with technically, unless you really need to go search for it. Like, I don't really look at it. I did get an email, found out late. As I'm doing this video, I was like, oh, let me go in there real quick and see whether or not the changes have applied. Oh, they sure did. It says that my monthly fee is $30 plus tax plus $1.99 in handling. So it went from $28 plus tax plus $1.99 handling to $30 plus tax plus $1.99 handling. So the reality is that the subscription has increased from $28 to $30. It has gone up by two bucks. Technically for those of us who are used to receiving beauty boxes for so many years, it is an increase because BoxyCharm started off at, what was it, $21? They went from 21 to 25, they stuck there, and then Ipsy took over and says now it's 28. Uh, oh girl, we're going back, way back in the day, right? And then now they're going $28, and then once people got comfortable with the $28 fee, I don't know where, they kind of like, weaseled a $1.99 handling fee into all of this and we were kind of bothered by it. I know because we've talked about it. You guys told me, I told you, I was like, mm. I remember saying something along the lines of, there's a handling fee now, but who was handling it before? Let's let them handle it since they were doing it for free. Why do we have to pay a handling fee? And obviously it was supposed to be all in fun and that kind of thing. So at this point, whatever we were paying, we're gonna pay $2 more. I have the email right here. I looked for it, I searched for it. <laughs> So let's take a look at this email. I personally haven't read through it like thoroughly either. Hold on. It says, hi, Jadira. Everyone calls me Jadi. You guys know me as Jadi. My legal name is Jadira. At Ipsy, we're here to make your beauty journey uniquely yours. That's why we give you everything you need to approach makeup and skincare on your terms. From sourcing and vetting the best in beauty to matching you with the perfect product. As your trusted beauty advisors, we do everything in our power to bring you the most delightful experience every month. To ensure we continue doing just that, the price of BoxyCharm will be changing to $30 a month, starting with December shipments for existing members. Let me know if it's just me, but I feel as though they should have waited till the new year to kind of make this change. At least let the subscribers that do not want to pay the extra fee, the increase, allow us to finish off the year. I mean, when did I get this damn email? Hold on. November. For me, it totally would have made sense if they go, listen, we're gonna, this is gonna be January. I, we want you to enjoy the balance of the year. If you choose to leave, we completely get it. But if you want to stay, you have December. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it should have been like that, but whatever. Then it says, doing this allows us to deliver more of what you want, including brands like Drunk Elephant, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Benefit Cosmetics with BoxyCharm. But they've been doing that. Like, for me, I feel like you're not doing anything different. Hello, I mean, we've seen Danessa, right? Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, we've seen Benefit. So these are things, these are, these are not new. Th that's not new. And then it says, want to lock in $25 boxes? Sign up for an annual plan by 11-30-2023 to save $60. That's two free boxes and get a free gift just for being a loyal Ipster. You can also pay with Afterpay, giving the flexibility to spread the cost into four interest-free installments payable every two weeks. Thank you for being a part of Ipsy family. Wherever you are on the beauty journey, we're grateful to be by your side and can't wait to see what's next. Mm -mm. I'm somewhat confused that they're saying, do you want to lock in $25 boxes? We've been paying $28. So by signing up for an entire year, they're giving you a reduced price so not only do you not have to 
pay the $30, but you're not even paying $28, you're paying $25? Mm. I think that's a typo. I've given you my thoughts on the email as we went along. I hope that you guys have been sharing your thoughts in the comment section below. So these are my thoughts, this is how I feel. I'm gonna keep my subscription. In my opinion, $30 plus, so let's say $34, $34? ish $34 I'm still getting a really good deal I'm getting a nice variation of product I may get Danessa Myricks but I could also potentially get Pat McGrath I might get Hourglass and Benefit in that kind so for less than $35 I'm still getting a great variation of product I also know that economy is is where it is right now. We all understand everything has gotten even more expensive. Food is expensive, gas is expensive, the light bill is, ex everything is freaking expensive. And for me and my person, I'm going to choose to keep my subscription because it is a gift to myself every single month. I'm a mom and I work and I take care of an entire household filled with people and everyone always needs something from the pickup to the drop off to the this to the that to the picking up the groceries to cooking and the cleaning listen the one thing that i do for myself every single month is my me time where i do my skincare and my makeup other than that that is it. So if I can gift myself a subscription every single month, yes, I get to play around with product. I get to choose it for myself. Do I have to pay for a box? No, I don't because Ipsy sends me their subscription for free. I choose to pay for it because I still think the variations are nice. Some, some months are misses, but most of the time they are hits. I get to try product that I really am intrigued or am curious about most of the time, and it is a gift to myself. It's a way of prioritizing myself. So that's why I'm gonna keep mine active and open. It sucks. Yes, it really does. And I wish that the prices were to remain the same, but I also understand that with everything else going up, employees are expecting to get paid a little more. You know, it's one of those things where people want fair pay. They want minimum wage to go up. We want all of that, but then if if that happens, then the cost of other things are gonna go up and it freaking sucks and it's, it's, it's a hard thing to balance. I also understand that a lot of people can't afford to pay for a subscription every single month, can't give to themselves every single month. And listen, if you can't do it, girl, just cancel, it's fine. You know what I mean? Even if it's temporary, so many people have canceled temporarily and then will re-sign up when they're able to. I am not telling you to run and sign up for Ipsy and screw your bills. That's just not the way that I do it. And that is why I like to do giveaways often throughout like the months, you know, because at the end of the day, I completely understand that I have an excess of product that if I can share with someone, why not? There are a lot of people that can't just run out and buy stuff. Um, and I love sharing with you guys anyway. Now that is my headspace, and I think it freaking sucks that the price increase is going to force some people to cancel because you guys love your subscription. And I do think that Ipsy could have waited to at least January to increase the price point. Like timing is just so wrong right now. But you guys know I always want to hear your thoughts, so make sure you shared it in the comment section below. And let's take a moment to thank our G-Squad. The lovely people you see here on screen have joined the channel as members. They're supporting the channel at a higher level. As members, they have access to exclusive perks. For instance, channel members were able to watch yesterday's video one hour before it went live to the world. It's almost like they got that red carpet treatment where they get to see it before everyone else does. They have access to their very own private community page. They've been given a badge that will highlight them as members and their comments are highlighted with the badge in the comment section below. If you're ever interested in joining channel members trips, all you really need to do is hit that join button below this video. And if you so happen to not see it on your device, girl, don't worry about it. In the description box, there's a link that will allow you to join. Let me remove these glasses. I got way too comfortable because I can actually see. <laughs> Two playlists are gonna pop on a screen. Those are filled with everything beauty, makeup, reviews, try-ons. I know you're gonna enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video.